it might not be so frightening at first glance, but this creature, nicknamed the Halloween Bug, has a mouth straight out of your worst nightmare. You're probably familiar with stink bugs. Every year, these clumsy, green little herbivores will take up refuge in your garden, sucking the sap out of your flowers and garden plants. And they get their name from the incredibly foul odor they release when they're disturbed. Something you probably didn't know about stink bugs, though. Stink bugs are fairly closely related to assassin bugs, another group of true bugs that are known for their predatory tendencies. So it's not that crazy to hear that within the family of stink bugs, there exists a few species that eat other insects. And wouldn't you know it, one of these crazy looking predatory stink bugs just so happens to be lurking right in my backyard. Is that a stink bug? Oh, no way. I think... I think that's a predatory stink bug. I have never actually seen one of these before. So this is kind of lucky. I think it's a stink bug. Let me grab my jar really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a jar because I'm not sure how quick these guys are to bite and their mouth parts are really scary looking. So we're gonna coax it into the jar and then get it up close to the camera and we'll see. Buddy, there you go. Nice. Look at that. Predatory stink bug. You don't see that every day. Well, I've got to say, this year has been crazy for wildlife, and this is case in point of why. All kinds of stuff that I've never seen before out here has been super active this year. I have never actually seen a predatory stink bug before, and lo and behold, right here in my driveway, I found one sit on a bush, so that's really incredible. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this little insect out of the jar, hold it in my bare hand, and see just how dangerous these little stink bugs are. All right, Seem pretty, seems pretty slow moving and not super jumpy, so come on out, buddy. Bear with me. All right, it's on my hand. And for a stink bug, I gotta say, this bug doesn't stink too much. Oh, he just pooped on me. It looks kind of like honey mustard or something. So uh, next time you're at the salad bar, you're gonna be thinking about that. But yeah, I'm used to seeing the brown and green stink bugs we have out here, but this one, has this really, really iridescent sheen on its dark parts, and then those bright orange blotches. And that's actually an aposomatic coloration, which is the first thing that tipped me off to this being a predatory stink bug as opposed to a normal one. The shape is very much stink bug. It's got that shield-shaped body and that characteristic stink bug face. But with that aposomatic warning coloration that usually advertises to predators that this insect might bite, that told me this is a predatory stink bug. As it was drinking water from the underside of leaves, I saw its proboscis, and unlike the proboscises of herbivorous stink bugs, these guys have a really scary looking mouth. You need to see this. This insect's mouth might be the craziest thing I've ever seen. Unlike the fixed rostrum of the assassin bugs, the predatory stink bug has a retractable mouth part that can extend out nearly half its body length. In the bush where I found it, it was hunting little insects called kudzu bugs. And let me tell you, these little herbivores stand zero chance against this magnificent predator. Kudzu bugs act sort of like aphids. They congregate in big groups along the vascular plants they inhabit and slowly suck the sap out. So it's basically a buffet for our little stink bug. But watch how this guy feeds. When the stink bug sees a prey item that it wants to eat, it extends that absolutely mental looking proboscis. And believe me when I say this, the tip of that thing is razor sharp. 
the way that the predatory stink bug attacks its meal is a true sight to behold. It skewers the kudzu bug, pivoting and shaking its prey to work the proboscis deeper into its prey's exoskeleton. And once inside, it releases a cocktail of enzymes that work quickly to dissolve its prey's innards into a thin, liquidy soup that the stink bug drinks up just like a milkshake. These kudzu bugs are so tiny that the meal is over relatively quickly, and the predatory stink bug discards the empty husk of kudzu bug and will go back to its hunt. These guys have a scary, scary mouth part, but they don't use it against humans. That is strictly for eating other bugs, so as long as you're not picking these guys up in a super haphazard manner, you're very unlikely to receive a bite. All right, buddy, back on your leaf. He's probing around with that mouth part. It's so scary looking. What an absolutely incredible encounter. I wanna wish you happy Halloween from my wild backyard. And until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.